Hi everyone, welcome to week four in environmental science. Almost everything you need in to complete during week four is in the week four module. I did want to point out that the salinity and plant growth lab report is in the week three module. I wanted you to have access to some of the resources in this assignment during week three when you were preparing your draft for peer review. Hopefully you got some great feedback from your peer and you're ready to submit your final draft. So do that here. Um, that's due on September 16th, as are most of the things in the week four module. The content page has a bunch of different um, things for you to explore and some information there to help guide your study of chapter four. So we're studying community ecology, which is in chapter four of your textbook this week. Use the content page to um, help create some study tools like flashcards and a study table and just to kind of dig deeper into the material in chapter four. This discussion is going to look a little bit different. Our week four discussion is a small group discussion. So when you click on it, it's going to say that you have access to one group. Um, it's a group of five people, so there's going to be just kind of less activity there. In this discussion, you're going to pick a climatograph and you're going to interpret it. So you're going to figure out how what, what the lines and the bars on that graph mean. And you're going to describe the climate in a certain location to your peers. You're going to see if you can make some guesses about what biome you think you would find in that location based on what you learned about the biomes in chapter four. And then you're just going to kind of go back and forth with your peers in that small group and compare the climate in these different regions. Um, the leaf litter laboratory is one that's going to require some supplies. So if you click on the page, you'll see that this week we're just getting this lab started. So this week I want you to read some background information in this PDF. I want you to answer these questions and then I want you to construct this thing called a Burley's funnel. Here's what your final setup is going to look like. It's going to require some materials. Those are listed here. You're going to need an empty milk jug a glass jar, a stick or a ruler, a pair of scissors, because you're going to need to cut that milk jug, some rubbing alcohol that goes in your jar. Maybe you need about a half a cup of rubbing alcohol. The desk lamp is optional. Um, you're going to need some mesh hardware cloth or window screening to line the bottom of your Burley's funnel. So it's going to go down here. You're going to tape it in down there. Um, what you're going to do next is collect um, a leaf litter sample. So this tab will walk you through collecting the leaf litter sample. You're going to put it in your inverted jug, and then you're going to collect invertebrates. They're going to crawl down, and they're going to end up in this alcohol. This week, you're just collecting them. So after your sample has dried for five to seven days, you're going to put the lid on this jar. And then next week, you'll try to look in there, maybe using a hand lens if you have one, and see if you can identify the critters that fell into your alcohol. If you need help with any of these supplies and you live um, somewhere locally and you can make it to campus, let me know. I can help you out. So let's go back to the module view. So we're just kind of, this is a two-part lab, and you're getting it started. So the leaf litter laboratory part one involves getting to know the background and then making this funnel and collecting your sample. Next week, you'll analyze the critters in the alcohol. There's a practice quiz here to help get you ready for the graded and timed quiz. Um, I recommend that you work through everything in the modules before you go to the practice quiz. And then after figuring out, assessing sort of where you are from the practice quiz, maybe going back and studying some things more and then taking your week four quiz. There's something different here. There's a self-assessment this week. This is an extra credit, credit quiz. I wanted to give you the opportunity to reflect about what's working for you, what's not working for you, um, and just kind of think about where you are in terms of your learning in this class. So that is it for week four. As always, please let me know if you have any questions.